Today on MTG Unpacked, the video is sponsored by Beadle and Grimms. They're better known for their D&D, Pathfinder and other accessories. They make all sorts of maps and so forth. Well, they're getting into Magic the Gathering today. So they have Kamigawa Platinum and Kamigawa Silver boxes. So these are huge collections of premium items and uh, we'll be taking a look at what you get for your money. So the uh, Kamigawa Platinum is $499, ships by the end of April 2022 and the silver version is $199 so you're basically getting like a cut down version of the Platinum. So as you can see, the box is rather massive. Beetle and Grimms. I like this packed by Goblins. And uh, we have a convenient Nicole Bolus here for scale. So a bit hard to picture it, but we're going to cut this open. Pretty much had to uh, raise the camera, not my usual setup, and uh, see what we've got in here. Ven vulnerable to slashing and piercing damage, so we've got to be careful when we get this thing open. Alright, so, have a massive box. And well protected on the top. So we have... What is this? I'm assuming... Okay, this is good. So... Certificate of Authenticity. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Platinum Edition. That is very cool. And this is a limited edition of 1500. This one is number 1443. Okay, so we'll crack this open in a minute. Look at all the uh, papers and so forth in here. Okay, so well packed. And this... <laughs> Alright, I think I recognize this guy from MTG Arena. So this is like one of the uh, companions or pets. So we get a plush. So he is pretty cool. Sort of like a raccoon type thing with a blue stripe on the tail. Alright, so that's fun. We'll set him aside. And next, holy cow. Okay, so this thing, I'm guessing all the rest of the stuff is in here. So let's get the box out of the way. Nothing else in there? Nope. So they've packed everything else into this very schnazzy, holy cow, look at that thing. It's like glowing, very shiny, sticking with the neon theme. Okay, so everything else must be in here. And here is the necklace thing they've attached. So this is a themed item. Hopefully we'll get that in focus. So one of the masks. 2022 Wizards. Okay, so they've attached that there. And then if we open up the backpack. So we've got a zipper all the way down here. And here is all the other stuff. So all sorts of pockets. So nothing in here. So you can put, I guess, dice and all sorts of other things in here. Nothing in there. Okay, and then these. It's just some, looks like some padding. Velcro padding. Okay, so you would put that inside there. So we'll take these out. So we've got two of these. And then we can see in here get a good look we've got another oh before I do that there's something down here aha uh -huh. so this is like a mirror box thing this is a tin oh nice looking 
wood finish. Okay, so let's get this open. I will say this whole setup oozes quality. So we have some bags and there's something in the bag. This is probably tokens. Let's check it out. Oh, we have some jewels. Okay. So very rare jewels, no doubt. We'll pop those back in. So that was one. And we have another bag here. So a bunch of other stuff, not jewels. Okay, so these are the tokens. I think that's everything. Okay, so what do we get here? Get that in the focus. So we've got some tokens. So one of those, one of these. Like plus five, plus one. Got another plus one. Okay, so you've got a bunch of those. Yeah, these are the same. Okay, so these, yeah, these are all the same, so we don't need to inspect those in great detail. And then there's one more drawstring bag here. So this has a bunch of stuff in it as well. Feels like more tokens. Okay, here we go. So we have a vigilance token. That is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, vigilance there as well. Okay, and then this one, reach. So yep, definitely looks like a creature reaching up to grab something. So another vigilance. Okay, so that's the same. Death touch. And on the other side, what am I looking at here? Looks like a, a skull. So we get a couple of those. Death Touch is a trample. Alright, like a big foot. So a couple of those. And then Menace. So that is awesome. It, could you imagine slapping these down on the table? Really stylish tokens. Indestructible. So that, yeah, that looks like something indestructible. So we've got another one of those. And reach. Okay. So we'll set the tin aside. Alright, anything else in that pocket? Nope. Okay, so now we're on to this main thing. I'm sure there's other pockets on the outside. We'll get into that stuff momentarily. Okay, so here we have some sleeves. So we'll open these up in a moment. Dragon sleeves, that's cool. And this looks like a little diary type thing. So another thing to crack open. Alright, and then we have... This looks like a debt box. A decent size, this would hold a commander deck. So, a cool logo there, let's see, okay, so magnetized sides, opens up, is this like an inner sleeve or something? No, that doesn't remove, okay, so clips into place, alright, and then we have like another deck box and now everything's falling out that's fine we roll with the bloopers here on MTG Unpacked so a nice shiny finish on that one and again opens up much the same way I think that would hold 100 sleeves quite comfortably or sleeved cards I should say now what is this? We've got this big, I think this is maybe an even bigger deck box. And some of the more fiddly stuff, I'll open that up separately and we can uh, 
zip through it a bit quicker. Okay, so B and G. Oh, I see what's happening here. This opens from the top. Holy cow. And then you can see the sides are opening. And then this middle section. Is this... Oh, this is attached as well. Oh, I see. I was going to rip it off, but... Yeah, that can hold your dice. This pops open, slides back in. Again, plenty of room for more decks. Alright, so we've got a bunch of deck boxes. This big thing, what is this? So, oh, I think this is the thing I'm really looking forward to. We've got an LED playmat. And a USB cable here. So I'm going to have to grab my laptop. Try this out. Probably closer to the end of the video. Okay, so that... Yeah, so it's USB powered. So that is going to be awesome. I like the artwork here. All the masks. And you can see like LEDs all around the edge. So we're going to try that later on. Okay, and then another mysterious box, Ogre Helm. So, what is this? My first master was an ogre of much power. I was shaped to his head, so you can freeze frame that. Okay, this is the this is the life counter, I think. Okay, so let's get him out of here. Star of foam. Very securely packaged. Okay, so we have bits of styrofoam everywhere. But we finally got it out of here. So let's check this out. Okay, so the life total you can see is in the helmet there. Does this... No, this... Oh, okay, this turns around. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up to we got twenty one, twelve, okay, three, four, five, it just goes around again. Okay, so that's fun. Ogre head helm life counter. And then we can see in here we've got some more padding so we can set up some compartments in the middle. So we have four of those. Okay, so you can see a pretty big compartment here. And then on the other side, do we have... Okay, here it is. There's actually a... I don't know if you can see this. It's like a USB port type thing on the bottom here. So you can feed the USB through there. And I think I know... Okay, so you would have... Probably have your computer in here maybe. Feed that through the bottom. Power your LED playmat. And I think that's how that's working. Awesome. And I don't think there's any more pockets here. So here is the LED playmat in action. So I remembered I had one of these uh, little flashlight things. You can also use it as a power source. So charge this up. You're going to be set for hours. Nice red glow all the way around the outside. So we'll get the lights back on and take a look at the rest. Okay, so now we can take a look at some of the other things. I did not notice this binder was tucked into the back of the backpack. So, very cool. Always good to see a rat. You might recognize him from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Okay, so very cool. Lots of sleeves in here, pockets. So I actually needed a one, another one of these, so that is perfect. And on the other side, okay, so this is like a full, opens up, that is fantastic. Alright, next we've got, uh, looks like a diary type thing, 
we've got the lands, so you can see the swamp, and then mountain here, you might recognize that artwork. Nice shiny edges on here, and then if we take a look inside here, so what is this? Which cards are working great? Which are not working? Misplays and other mistakes and cards I need to add. And let's see here. Then you've got, yeah, player. So you can capture date, venue, <coughs> results, who you're playing against. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then some note paper as well. Yep, and then you can capture how your decks are working. And then the sleeves, so we saw these earlier, let's take a closer look. So it seemed like a decent quality sleeve. Let's see how easily they tear apart. We'll do the professor's test. Okay, so they are, they are a little, yeah, they're not the craziest strength, but uh, yeah, they do absolutely look cool. So we failed the test there, alas, but they're more decorative and you're normally not going to pull it apart like I did. And here we have some more. So do we have a quantity here? We have 100 sleeves, okay. So you get 100 in each of those. Now I've got 99. Okay, and then the other stuff. So this is a protective board, you might have noticed from earlier. So the so Certificate of Authenticity. We'll set that aside. Make some room at the back there. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Platinum Edition. Signed by the guys, or noted by the guys there at Beetle and Grimm's. And here we have some other stuff. Okay, lots of merch you might be interested in. Selected field reports on Kami. Oh, this is cool. So this is like a whole... Holy crap, they... They put a lot of effort into this. Okay, so you've got all sorts of different Kami here. Analyzing, noting, observations, pictures. That's cool. So looking it through, yeah, this is something will be fun to read later on. Classified, okay. Very nice. And then it looks like here, oh, this thing is huge. Okay, so we have this massive map here. I don't even know, you know what, we will take a look at that later. We'll open it up and see what it looks like. We have another poster here. That's cool. I think that's the, is that the March of Reckless Joy? So a nice print. And then we have, okay, so these are like dragons. So we have and I'm not going to be able to remember the names, but we'll just look at the pictures here. So we've got this guy. Is that Junji? I think that might be Junji. Nothing on the other side. Um, at Sushi, the Blazing Sky. Okay, so we're just... I think we're getting all the dragons here. This guy whose name escapes me. Uh, Ayo, the Dawn Sky. And this guy, I'm not sure who he is. Chime in in the comments as you recognize them. Okay, and then finally... So this is a huge map. We have Jukai. A Ganjo up in the corner there. You can even see that. Tawashi, Basiju, Undercity. Sokanzan, Takanuma, we've got the Minamo Academy here, and in the top we have Ottawara. So this is fantastic. So there we go, that is it. 
All right, so wrapping things up, I thought I'd show you how you can set up the compartments here. So get all your debt boxes in little compartments, sleeves, got your life counter and tokens. And then you can pop this over, zip it all up. And you are all set for gaming. I also noticed there's like a zippered uh, pocket at the back here so you can store some more things here. Nice sturdy straps. And that is the Kamigawa Platinum Edition. Like I said, 499 US ships from Canada. And you add on shipping, you're probably adding on, I would say like 50 to $75 shipping. So it can be a bit pricey. You might want to check out the silver edition if this is a bit too pricey for you but you definitely get a lot for your money so leave a note in the comments what do you think of this planning to pick it up and i'd like to thank beetle and grims for sending this out it was absolutely fantastic to get a look at all of this hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there thanks for watching and have a great day